Hello again folks and today I'm going to show you how I did my version of Autobahn by Kraftwerk and uh, first of all let me say thank you so much for all the recent likes and comments that you've given me and also for all the new subscribers as well it's uh, very much appreciated. So the um, the sequence is slightly different to the uh, other ones I've done. This one only uses the 12 note sequence so you need to go into the menu settings on the JDXI and go into uh, scale settings and change the scale from 1 over 16 to 1 over 12. The beats per minute um, is set to 160 and what else? It's a 4 bar, it, most all the sequences are 4 bar sequences. So let's, let's break them down a bit for you and show you what I'm doing. So D2, which is the bass sound that you're hearing, we just, we'll just isolate that to start with. So to get that sound and to get that effect, again we're using delay, a bit like in the version I did of uh, I Feel Love. This one also uses delay. If I turn the delay off you'll hear the difference. The notes that I'm playing are F octaves, so so just those two those two notes there uh, to create this effect. So there's four bars worth there, and again the delay. You need to go into the menu, go into the effects edit press enter and then work your way through to the delay and set the delay the delay type to single and the delay time needs to be set to a quarter note so it's using a quarter note delay um, again that just looks like a standard uh, standard quarter note uh, symbol on the uh, on the display there but uh, you can, if you experiment with the delay settings, you'll, you'll, you should be able to achieve that same sound um, using that same pattern that I've got there. The drum uh, pattern that I'm using is very simple. Let's just get out of, out of that. So just a very, very simple drum sequence that I'm using. So we're using the bass drum and this Symbol sounded. And that's all it is. And the kit that I'm using for that uh, is the RMB Kit 1. So together they sound like, like this. Let's bring the delay back. And in the version of the song that I did, I did do a little bit of vocoder work on it. Um, so the vocoder setting, if I just switch it back on again, is actually a, I'm playing an F chord uh, using a vocal ensemble in the um, in the uh, vocoder setting. So it's it's basically playing an F chord and singing. So it only appears there while you press the while you're playing the note. So again, you record that in the in the sequencer, and as it's playing, it will allow you to yeah, do that over the top. Okay. So that's sequence number one. Let's go into sequence number two. So again, we just isolate the different parts. We've got the same... Um, so a little bit more delay, uh, sorry, a bit more, little bit more reverb on that one, but uh, that's uh, just my preference. Um, the 
The extra sounds that you're hearing on there on D1, we've got soft pad number two, which is basically playing uh, these notes here. So it's playing just two note chords. Do it again, David. <laughs> notes that I'm playing there. So we've got on the analog synth we've got um, analog sequence, square sequence one you're playing this song through and it gets to the set it sort of plays that through once it then uh, transposes up so it goes from um, uh, a, the the original transposition position <laughs> if that's a, if that's a terminology to d, d so it goes something like this goes into sequence number three which transposes up to the A note here so if we already if we shift it up to A you'll hear it so normally uh, if that was transposed to the standard position it would sound like this the notes on that one so we've got the same drum pattern so it's just playing those two notes there all transposed up to here it sounds different and then sequence number four again transposes I'll play it through for you how it actually transposes it starts off on the F note here and back to two. So let's just run through that one again, this sequence number four. So 
So it's playing those notes there. We've got the analog synth as well. So it's playing these notes here. Now, when that cycled through again, it does change slightly to a different um, transposition. So it starts off up there again, it starts on A. And goes into sequence number five, which is this um, extra piece in the middle. show you how I did that. So the, we've got a different drum kit now. I'm using uh, the drum kit is called Noise Kit 1. Let's see if we can uh, just show you what, in, what we're using. So we're using the um, hi-hat hi, hi, <laughs> hi there, partial hi-hat or P HH as it's called on the keyboard. Let's turn them all down then we can bring them up one at a time. So this is the first one. This is the P HH or partial hi hat or whatever it's meant to be. So that's creating that uh, that drum pattern there. different bass, this is the filtered envelope bass one. Can you see the notes I'm playing? that I, because that runs such a lot there's no way to actually sequence the the analog synthesizer that's going underneath which is playing sequence 4 which sort of back to the 
original position. And then playing pattern number two. I also made a few, uh, three different samples as well, which I used, which I'll just play for you. Just shifting positions now. So the only, I couldn't, I tried to recreate the engine starting sound, but I couldn't, so I cheated and uh, sampled it off the record. So the record, but what I did do, I created these extra sounds uh, using the JDXI. So we've got this one. So that runs through at the end of the sort of first part back into the uh, main chorus. And, then, and that's when the uh, drum pattern changes to the, um, to the noise kit. So I'll just try and uh, show you how I did that. Lost it. Where have we gone? Here we are. those sequence um, samples we used there. It's quite a tricky one to do and, and I was quite proud of myself for actually doing that recording that one live uh, when I first did it about almost a year ago to the day so um, that is uh, how I created my version of Autobahn for you. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, so it's quite a tricky one to do but Again, if you spend a little bit of time with it, I'm sure you'll uh, you'll be able to do something like I've got here. Anyway, thanks again, and uh, hopefully I'll bring you some more videos again soon. All the best for now. Bye bye.